so my dear students today we shall be discussing about the logarithmic differentiation in our previous class we have studied about the differentiation of exponential and logarithmic function differentiation of logarithmic function and logarithmic differentiation is different in case of differentiation of a logarithmic function we use the formula for the logarithm like d by dx of log x is 1 by x that we have to use that we have learned in the previous class but in case of logarithmic differentiation we first apply the properties of logarithm then after applying the properties of logarithm we get a function which will be quite easy for us to differentiate okay now when we use the logarithmic differentiation we use the logarithmic differentiation when the given function is a product of many functions and when the function is of the type function to the power function so in this case we apply first the logarithm the properties of logarithm we, then we differentiate the functions so let us proceed how we do the logarithmic differentiation logarithmic function means d by dx of a function which, which will be having log okay which will be having log this is called differentiation of a logarithmic function but the topic that we are going to discuss today that is as already i have told it is what logarithmic differentiation now that logarithmic differentiation means we have to apply the properties of logarithm while differentiating a function before that we have to know the properties of logarithm properties of logarithm number one log m n m into n this is in product m into n log m into n or log m n which we know log m plus log n generally this three and sometimes this four we apply as a property two functions we know that uh, we can use the product rule if it is like this sine x into cos x no problem we can differentiate it by using the product rule the dx of uv but if it is product of many functions sin x cos x suppose 10x okay there are three functions even it can have another function ex so you have seen that there are four functions involved in the given function suppose the function is fx and this function is product of four functions so in this case we cannot apply the product rule that we have learned in the earlier class second one function. function again the exponent is also a function like this x to the power x x is a function again this x is a function the exponent is also a function it is not like x square or x for x to the power 5 so in that case we can apply the dx of x to the power n that formula we can apply but here we cannot apply the strip of n form because it is not n it is a function another example sin x to the power cos x okay so it is a function sin x is a function sine function again the exponent is also a function cos function so when we get these types as a product of many functions or function to the power function then we go for the logarithmic differentiation and that logarithmic differentiation means what First, we have to apply the properties of logarithm, this pole. Okay, since it is in product form, so log mn, this type, log m plus log n. It can be extended, it can be extended like m and p. If I give here p, m and p, then log m plus log n plus log p. Okay, if I put another one, log m, uh, m, n, p, q, then log m plus log n plus log p plus log q like that same in the case of division here i have written two but we can put many okay so while solving the problems that will be clear to you okay let us go for the exercise 5.5 x cos 3x 
so as you have seen there are three functions which are in product form so we have to apply the logarithmic differences you just notice how i write first we have to take it as y or some other variable let y equal to cos x cos 2x cos 3x then we have to take logarithm on both sides taking logarithm so this side will be log y and this will be log cos x cos 2x cos 3x implies log y now you see the first property m and p m and p that means log m means log cos x plus plus log cos 3x okay now we are in a position to differentiate it it becomes easier so we'll write differentiating so d by dx log y this side also d by dx 2x plus log cos 3x the dx of log y is 1 by y log x so 1 by cos x once d by dx of cos x plus 1 by cos 3x d by dx of cos 3x the dx of cos x is minus sin x we can put here minus sin x in the above then below cos x again plus minus the ds of cos 2x is minus sin 2x even you can remember like this the dx of sin x you know cos x the dx of sin mx mx type sin mx means m cos mx the dx of cos mx means minus m sin mx like that by cos 2x then minus uh, plus cos 3x is minus 3 sin 3x by cos 3x is equal to 1 by y dy by dx equal to minus 3x we have to cross multiply this y to that side that means dy by dx Now, uh, one more step we have to write that in place of y, that y that we have taken, we have to write here. y means cos x, cos 2x, cos 3x, and then within bracket. So, this is the final answer. So, this is how we have applied the properties of logarithm while differentiating a function. let y equal to so first duty is to take logarithm taking we get log y equal to now you see uh, first you have to convert this square root as a power square root uh, there is a square root that means the whole power is how much half yes the whole power is half square root is there that means the whole power is half that means you have to go for this log m to the power n that means like this power is half okay that half will come here half then log this part next again half now you see it is in product form but these are in as a whole they are in question form this total is n so log uh, log m by n means log m minus log n this will be log x minus 1 plus log x minus 2 they are in product form so they will be in plus again the whole is in question form below it is like a denominator so all will be in minus log x minus 3 minus log x minus 4 minus log 
suppose this part is not there this part is not here a b the denominator part is not here that means log m into n so what log m plus log n okay then again for this again for this they are also in product form so log x minus 3 plus log x minus 4 plus log x minus 5 but as they are in uh, question form so before that minus sign will come all will be in plus as product but minus will come minus of bracket of log m plus log n plus log n log p but that minus will give us whole minus minus of this minus of this minus of this okay log suppose this is mn this is pqr this one minus log pqr okay m by n log m minus log n again this is in product form so log m plus log n minus they are also in product form so it will be log p plus log q plus log r then it is log m plus log n minus log p minus log q minus log r that is what i have written here understood now yes sir yes sir hmm. yes, so sir. this is how we got differentiating now we are in a position to differentiate it differentiating the dx of log d by dx of log y equal to d by dx of so it will be always like 1 by y dy by dx that half is like the constant k half we can write outside of this now we will differentiate all the functions this one this one this one this one this one the dx of log of this means 1 by x minus 1 okay again if you differentiate this part d by dx of x minus 1 you will get 1 no need to write then again here d dx of this d by dx of log x minus 2 is 1 No need to write this is also 1 minus 1 by x minus 5 so d by dx equal to that y let us cross multiply here 1 by 2 y then 1 by x minus 1 equal to how then what that y we have to put y and this part so this is the answer so students we have seen how to use the logarithmic properties in case of finding a differentiation of a function and i hope you understood it better and we shall meet again in our next video thank you